I just have you in the mini window. Like I'm on a different window. I'm on the the my garage band window. So you're just in a mini window. All right. So give me. I gotta pee one more time. This is crazy. I can't. <laughs> you're right in the middle of our recording. Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome to the show with no name. My name is Daniel. His name is B. B, I have to say, uh, it's good to be back doing the show with no name. I mean, we do this every week, but it's kind of like a highlight of my week, uh, something I look forward to. And so far, every episode of the show with no name that I've recorded, now you've you know, you've recorded in different locations, you've recorded where you live, you've also recorded in my living room, and I've moved my desk at that time. I was out in the living room with you to do that. But so far, every single time that I've recorded this show, I've been sitting in this chair, in this seat, in this exact location. And I think this is going to be the last time that I record in this chair, in this location. You will permanently be on remote location? Is I'll permanently be on remote location. <laughs> no, it's more of a matter of uh, I'm going to be moving. Um, and there is definitely, so I do have some questions. So I will say this, there, there is a, a question for the night, but I kind of want to save that. And I kind of want to get, get some other stuff out. I first. am dressed. My underwear is clean. <laughs> I showered this morning. Got those, those out aren't of the, the way. <laughs> those aren't the questions exactly oh, that I was thinking good. of. So, um, I, I, first off, I just want to say before I dive into anything that uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this show with you. It's been a huge blast, and I can't thank you enough for asking me to do this. Uh, to the people who do actually listen to this show, thank you so much for all of the, the support that we have. Um, we have uh, just just some amazing fans that really enjoy what we put out, and we love the feedback. People give us feedback on things that we can improve on, and... and uh, and also things that they like, but this really wouldn't exist if it, it, if you hadn't pushed me be to to do this. Like you, you'd been talking to me about doing this podcast for I I mean it it had been years probably yeah, at least a year you know at, at o- least a off year and on for at least a year yeah. But in addition to that, we, you'd also pushed me to do other things. Like you, we always talked about like oh we need to do something creative with each other. Like because we we both have creative minds, right. we both like to to stretch out that creativity and. Uh, we've we never were gonna done make anything together. Films or like little movies that's true. and short films together. That's right. And then I that, moved up. That's here. true. And then you moved up there, and it was like, well, I guess that project <laughs> is just shot down. I mean, unless I'm gonna travel, you know, uh, to to Virginia every time I want to do a film or something, which you know, realistically and budget wise, it just doesn't exactly. You just fit get in, on Kickstarter and say, hey, we're making a film together, and I that's need tr- a oh, lot of money for what? plane tickets and. <laughs> Money to support myself. Uh, I'm on sabbatical uh, from my job. <laughs> there was so so the new one now is GoFundMe. That's kind GoFundMe. of the more popular one now. There was a GoFundMe page, um, and uh, this kind of ties into something we're going to talk about later tonight. Um, there was a, a ridiculous GoFundMe page where this person, uh, after the Powerball winnings went out uh, and they lost, they said, um, "Help us raise." You know, uh, money. We spent all of our money on lottery tickets, oh and goodness. we don't have any more money. We can't buy groceries. You know, please support us by giving us money. But here's the kicker: they were asking for money so that they could go buy more lottery tickets, oh so that they could win my. it big at the next lottery. Here's the crazy part: they raised eight hundred dollars in just under a few hours. Before GoFundMe turned their page down, but they still made eight hundred dollars in just a few hours doing absolutely nothing but telling people that they need money for lottery for cigarettes, basically. Uh, so <sighs> just unbelievable. Does uh, did GoFundMe give a, a reason for turning down their? Yeah, because they have uh, like community guidelines as far as like what. Okay. Anyway, they, I've add, seen some of the. They probably filed it under like you're asking for money for gambling. Exactly. I don't. I don't. I don't don't exactly know. (laughs) I don't exactly know what it was that uh, uh, why they exactly. I mean, it makes sense to me. I don't even have to understand why exactly they gave. Why? What? Do you really need a reason why to to close? I mean, I would think anyone with common sense would be like. But then again, these people don't have any money, 
So they True. probably couldn't get a lawyer to. But most of these, most of these um, services that they that uh, these um, crowdfunding projects, if you will, or these crowdfunding pages, if you will, are technically offering a free service. Yes, they are charging True. a fee, but they're only taking a portion of whatever you make. So you're never having to turn around and write a check to them or anything like that. You never have to give them your credit card information. Never have to do anything like that. It's kind of a ri- a ridiculous. Uh, thing and and honestly, we, uh, this could become the topic for tonight because we could talk about this all night long. I actually saw. So, yeah, but real, I know. I know. Go ahead. I, so real quick, so Kickstarter at least has like a goal. You got to meet goal X. Does GoFundMe yes. have a goal as well? The same? Is it so, the same way? So like, I don't these, know. If these people raise their eight hundred dollars and GoFundMe said, "And we're putting the nicks on this," that eight hundred is theirs. That's not like they go, "Hey, we got to return the money." But uh, anyway, we don't, that could. Be I think the GoFundMe actually. I think with the GoFundMe, I think you can set it up with a PayPal account, so it goes directly oh, to you. Okay. And all that GoFundMe is going to do is that they have a filter that as it's going through, it's like, ah, here's 3%, give that to us. Gotcha. You know, type of thing. But yeah, anyway, I it, the most, I've seen more ridiculous ones. My favorite one, and it was done in a, in a, a comical kind of way. Um, and if you go find, this project is still out there. You can still go look for it. It's, a, it's on Kickstarter. It says, I'm making potato salad. And... <laughs> The oh guy goodness. wanted to raise like fifty dollars to make potato salad, and he ended up raising like sixty thousand dollars because, like, <laughs> his like things were like, if you <laughs> if you donate one or more dollars, I'll send you a picture of the finished potato <laughs> salad. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you. <laughs> if JPEG, you donate like five or, more, or what else? Like, so there's you, a hand drawn like picture. A, <laughs> if you if you donate like five dollars or more, you get to pick one of the one of the secret ingredients that gets added into oh the. <laughs> it was the most ridiculous thing ever. You have to go look it up. And main, I, I've I've gone to the page at least two or three times just to get a chuckle. Does this guy? Um, so does he sell this potato salad now, or what's the story? Was just so, so that he can yeah. Make so it? so there were some people. I really love you, potatoes. I'm from Ireland. It was something and like I if have you no gave. Money, <laughs> to make these, please. I need mayonnaise. Was, I've been <laughs> saving packets from when I eat out at the restaurants all these years. <laughs> and there was one too, like if you get donated like more than a hundred dollars or something like that, he would send you a bite of the potato <laughs> salad in the mail so you could get a taste of the final product. It's the greatest. I don't thing know. Ever. After all these secret ingredients are in it, I'm not sure what. <laughs> well, okay. So the secret ingredients had to be picked from like a select group. Okay, so of you had things. a list. So, Got it. So it wasn't like someone could just say like uh, throw, you know, uh, d- d- I, I don't know, uh, carbon dioxide. Right. Uh, carbon dioxide. I don't know why that's so- <laughs> that was the first <laughs> so ingredient I thought of. Dioxide. Carbon dioxide. <laughs> just pour a little in there. Uh, all right. There it is. <laughs> there it's it is. There. I don't think you want to eat that now. We are getting way off topic because uh, I do have a direction that I wanted to go. I, I mean, and I guess that's kind of the case with most of these shows that we've done. Uh, one of us has an idea and what we want to talk about. And I want to talk to you before we get into um, uh, something that I have, which is going to be, I guess, the second half of tonight's show. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about moving because I'm a I'm facing the the the, the prospect of moving, and as I'm getting closer and closer, wait, this, wait, hold on. This isn't like you're trying to do a Kickstarter to help people. I need no, to come, no, I no. need a truck and people to loan it. B, come on down here. How much holiday to, leave do you have? <laughs> so I wasn't trying to connect the two together, okay. but I should do a Kickstarter. It should just be called "I'm Moving," and then I could be like, "If you, you know, send me a dollar, I'll send you a picture of me moving my furniture." <laughs> You know, like uh, if you <laughs> if you send if me ten dollars, you... you can tell me what items to not move. <laughs> <laughs> or if you send me a hundred dollars, I will send you um, any dead bugs I find from behind my couch. <laughs> you know, it's just that would be great. That would be great. No, I wasn't planning on connecting this to Kickstarter or or to crowdfunding in general. I, I'm actually kind of wanted to more talk about. Uh, uh, and and maybe it's just me, but as the the closer I get to moving, the more I'm dreading the thought of moving. Moving can be a pain. Moving can be you know uh, a huge inconvenience. You know you have all these things that you have like set on on your desk, and 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 you've got stuff that's you know just not 
packaged up or stored and you got to put it in a brown box or whatever you can fit it in because it's not like you're going to roll a moving truck up and you're just going to throw individual trinkets in the back of the, the, the truck that's just not going to happen like you know and i remember now now i i, I complain it sounds like i'm complaining and in, in a way i kind of am i am kind of am complaining uh but it's a little unfair for me to say all this because I've only moved a few times. Like this is only going to be like maybe my fourth or fifth move in my entire life. And on the other hand, I've got friends that are military that have may have moved 20 plus times, you know, because of, you know, relocating and, and things of that nature. And so I kind of feel like maybe they're a little more experienced with each opportunity that there is to move. They get better and better at it. My question is, and this is not the the ultimate question of the episode tonight, but I wanted to ask a few questions for you. First off, how many times have you moved? If you can think about that number. Oh, um, wow. That's a, say, so there'd be one, two, I'm going backwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plus, something along those lines, nine? Nine plus something. Nine, like okay, about nine times. And that that okay. You, so I'm gonna count nine for that. I was like actually capable of moving, right? So like when I was like when I was like seven, and my parents moved. I'm not counting that because the only thing I had to do was like pack my teddy bear, and that was just like <laughs> I grabbed it, and it's like it's packed. It's it's, it's packed. coming. It's with ready me. to go. That's how that goes. <laughs> I didn't have to lift any boxes or anything. So okay, what that's say, fair. Eight and, or so. And in fairness, I really probably shouldn't count the time when I moved when I was 10 because I didn't really have to do much then either. I remember how much of an inconvenience it felt at the time. Like, I remember it feeling like an inconvenience. Like, just knowing that I I don't, where am I going to put, right. I don't have anything. Like, but how do I help out? Am I in the way? I just remember, you know, kind of feeling in the way. And the weird thing about it, too, is that we when we moved, we moved, um, the day before my birthday and we finished after midnight and I remember going to bed thinking like, it's my birthday. <laughs> like, and I have none of my stuff with me. I'm sleeping on a mattress with no blankets, no cut. Like, a, like we just didn't have anything out yet. Everything was still all packed up. And I remember I came down the stairs for the first time the next morning. My dad was like washing something in the sink. I don't even remember what he was doing, but he, he just said, Hey, good morning. Happy birthday to it. And I'm like, oh, that's right. It's my birthday. I completely like, in the time that I slept, I guess I forgot that today was my birthday. It's like, well, this is a cool present. I'm in a new house. A, I will say this. There's nothing like moving into a new house when you got like the new carpet down and everything. That's pretty cool. You walk on the carpet for the first time. You're like, ooh, this feels nice. All nice, nice and soft. Yep. and <laughs> Cushy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Would you say that with each move, has things gotten easier or would you say they still feel like a big pain in the butt every single time you have to move because you recently moved yeah no like, i did so this yeah that was um i don't have kids and i'm not married and it's just me so i have the full liberty of going throw that away hmm. right so anything that i don't want to bring i just i'll just chunk things chunk things just, everything's just gone um yeah. but the the tough part obviously so moving here was so this move was actually tough, but it was exciting because I was coming right. This is coming coming from an apartment. So when I moved, so when I first moved up here, uh, my brother and my sister in law were lived in a in a house, and they and they knew that I was coming up here for a job. They said, "Look, why don't you come stay with us until you find a place to to live?" So I was there for a little over two months, and I found an apartment in uh, Crystal City. That was I loved Crystal City. Crystal City is awesome, and so I, literally, I was in there the entire time that I was here, and then I bought this place. And so the problem with this place was, so I was excited. I'm like, yeah, now I'm moving out of my apartment into into a literally a large condo that I own. I mean, this is, I know you haven't seen it all, but it's it, this is massive. And the problem is that it's on the fourth floor. It's a two-story uh, mm. unit. It's on the fourth floor, and there's no elevator. Oh. So everything had to be trucked up by hand, and I had made two trips down here during the week. We were going to move on a Saturday, so my friend was coming over with his truck, and a couple of other guys were coming over, and we were going to uh, move everything by the truck. So, But prior to that Saturday, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, I loaded up a whole bunch of boxes into my car, 
and I parked mm. down here and I chuck, 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 chuck. And I can only, the max I can yeah. carry is like two boxes at a time. So if I've got like 12 yeah. boxes in the car, that's six trips to up and down. And the first two times, I think it was Tuesday and Wednesday that I moved in here, that I, that I moved the boxes up here, the power wasn't even on yet. Hmm. So I walk into the condo, click the light switch, and I'm like, oh, no, I have to call the power company to get the power on. So it yep. was a bit of a – so one of the – I think it was the second night, the Wednesday night, a friend of mine helped me move some of the boxes up, which made it easier. But he goes, oh, B, I'm really interested. I want to see this place. I'm like, sure. And so I walk in and turn the light on, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you're going to have to see it with the flashlight. So I walk <laughs> you around, and we look like burglars because it was nighttime. Right, because I got to work during the day, yeah. and then I – do all this stuff. So it was, and then you and your brother Jonathan helped me move one time. I remember that where we uh, just threw the mattress over the <laughs> side of the staircase. We can't even. Uh, so yeah, I, well, I'll actually tell him that story, I guess. But we broke your mattress. Essentially, That's right. was, the, was the result of that. The result of that move. That was not a so. Just FYI, if you're thinking of moving or dropping mattresses from large heights <laughs> and thinking, eh, no big deal, nothing will happen to it, it's a mattress. <laughs> they like have these frames inside them and they will crack and break. And so you and I are like, I think it was, was it you and me or? No, it was, it was you, it was me and Jonathan. We were moving the mattress. So Jonathan is uh, my older brother for our listeners. We were moving the, um, the mattress and we got to the stairwell and I remember, Jonathan and I were trying to like fit it in the stairwell and it didn't seem like it was fitting. And this was and like so third, third floor. You're on the third floor. Yeah. You're on the third floor. And so we asked you and we said, Brennan, what would you like us to do with this? And you said, I oh, you just toss it over the el- over the edge. Just toss it over the railing. <laughs> no, it, like, it wasn't the mattress. Sure? It, was the bo- it was the box spring. No, I thought it was the mattress. It was the. Oh, box you're right. Yes, no, broke? you're right. Exactly right. Because right. your box spring made it out safely. Right. The box spring was like mattress the mattress. Didn't. We had to go and buy a new one because I remember I used to sleep on the floor. Yeah, and my in da- my new place, and my dad came over. And he goes, "Where's your bed?" <laughs> I'm like, "I sleep on the floor." He goes, "No, it's on the floor. No son of mine sleeping on the floor. We're buying you a mattress." <laughs> I was like, "Hallelujah! It all worked out in the end." Thank yep. you, Dad. As we throw a mattress off of a three story, <laughs> yes. off of the third story balcony, and uh, I remember thinking, like, "Man, if this thing lands flat, that's probably okay." Right, but it did not nope. land flat at all. <laughs> nope, it landed like on a corner. Like the corner, like bent in, it yeah, like it imploded. Horrible. Like, ah, uh, th- yeah, no, that was. It not was a like good... crash test dummy for mattresses. Exactly. I, I wish we could have. I wish we had like a slow mo camera set up <laughs> on the ground floor because that probably would have looked really cool. Could have seen like springs like break, like try like busting out of the sides and then going back in. So you know, this is like you know that like there was no woman involved in this because the yeah like, exactly <laughs> ration would have prevailed exactly there was no rational person telling us what to do exactly. it was just a bunch of dudes moving things and we're like oh what do we do and just throw it just that that solves everything that's right, right? and you guys were how what, what were you guys at this time 17 16 oh, something like that i i don't remember yeah. when we were young i don't remember probably around probably around that um uh when did you move to virginia again oh do you remember so what I moved, year i moved up here in 2010 uh, but okay. so we moved out of that third because originally I was in a first floor apartment in that complex. Yeah, and then I moved to a third floor. I remember mo- helping you move on that day. Too. Oh, did you help me move up to the third? I floor? thought I did. I'm. I thought I did. maybe I didn't. I it's don't possible. I know I a Don there. helped me move into the first floor, and we moved to the third floor. We moved out of that to shirts. Yeah, I went to shirts. That's right. You did. And then That's I went. Right. And then you moved. Oh, okay. to San Antonio I gotcha. to the basement. Uh, apartment which was not, it was way more than a basement i had like a living room a fireplace my own bedroom it was nice i don't remember that, that was at the the smith's house i was there oh the, i know and what then you're talking we about. went okay, out yeah, to yeah, Sel- yeah. selma where i had like like two closets that was all i you, had was two closets <laughs> was like, one of these is my bedroom you've lived in a lot of places all over san antonio see yeah. and, and, and i i love i love san antonio and and we're going to talk about uh, uh, San Antonio. Well, actually, oh man, I think in my research that I did for this episode, I wanted to include San Antonio, and I think I excluded it at the last second. I think I took it out. Yeah, I took out. Oh okay. no, I took it out. But that's okay. We're gonna get to it anyway. So uh, <laughs> we we uh, we tend to do a good job of getting off topic. Well, I guess it's not really off topic because the whole purpose of this was talking about moving and kind of I guess the the 
the pain that it takes to go through that process. And I'm, I have to tell you, I'm like a little over a week away from having to move. I haven't even started packing anything yet. <laughs> I'm not excited about it. You don't it. have a whole lot, though. I did. I did see your. Well, I, you know what? Your kitchen, though. You got to get all that. Yeah, it's not. It's not that I have. I, and that, that's another thing is that every time I do move, I always feel like I have more than I need. Like I'm. I'm like moving things. I'm like, why do I have like these fifteen Dr. Seuss books? I don't have any children. <laughs> Who am I going to read these to? Right. I, I actually have. I have got like five or six Dr. Seuss books, and I remember I got. And you them have like a piggy free. man piggy bank, uh, piggy bank down there too. I do have a. I do have a. Uh, right, it's a, Pikachu a piggy, piggy bank. A Pikachu, yeah. I've got a Pikachu piggy bank that was given to me as a, as a gift for Christmas. I, I don't know why what it was, but I had two of my friends one year for Christmas thought I had an obsession with Pokemon and specifically Pikachu. It's uh, maybe because <laughs> when I used to play Super Smash Brothers. You know, on Nintendo, that I would play the Pikachu character a lot, so they thought that I was really obsessed with it. So I got like a Pikachu shirt, a Pikachu hat, a Pikachu piggy bank. Oh, man. I got a Pikachu action figure. I got like I got so much Pikachu paraphernalia for that one Christmas. You would have thought that I was like I had like a relationship with Pikachu. <laughs> and, like you would, <laughs> you were literally bad. you were the the live action version of the animated. Pokemon guy with the hat and the teeth. Exactly. Like, oh, Ash. Pikachu. That's his name. Is that yeah. Ash? I, don't know. I pick what you. you. Mm-hmm. Ash yeah. is the guy from Evil Dead series. I know that. He's got like a that's chainsaw completely hand. completely different. No, that's... <laughs> it's completely different Ash. I, I will say this, though, and, and this is something now. This is a uh, this is getting way off topic and very side note. There is a re, uh, like a full like body Pikachu suit that like looks like the real Pikachu, but just a large form of it. You know, it's like puffy and big. I kind of want to wear that just as a joke, <laughs> not because I love Pikachu that much, just because the costume just looks that so on par with what actual Pikachu looks like. I'm just like, man, that would be funny. You just walk around. No one would know who you are. You're just like, I'm Pikachu. That's right. I'm freaking Pikachu. This is me. I'm walking around. You so, go to San anyway. Antonio Comic Con is Pikachu. <laughs> a San Antonio Comic Con is Pikachu. Exactly. No, we already talked about this. If I'm going to go, I'm going to go as Kylo Ren right. because we work Star Wars into every episode that we record. Bing! Got to find a way seven to get Star points Wars for in there. So seven points. No, well, next time maybe you can get the seven points, but you got to beat me to the punch on on finding a way to get Star Wars in there. But anyway, <laughs> again, getting way off topic, but that's okay. I, I'm okay with getting off topic. Um, again, just going back to the moving. So I do want to do something, and, and this isn't necessarily the question, but this is the, the point or the topic of of this episode and that only took us what like 12 minutes to get to or something like that or i think we're actually i think we're 22 minutes in now already uh so we're doing great with getting into our topic but that's okay because it's not going to take very it's not going to take as long and i did that on purpose so last week last episode you once again introduced the idea of a game show and i kept thinking to myself this is a podcast. This is not a game show, Brendan. <laughs> Why do we keep going back to a game show? We've so only done tonight, three of those. Yeah, but tonight, for at least for, for now, I'm sure it'll come back. Tonight is going to be the game show to end game shows <laughs> on the <laughs> okay. show with no name. So the thing about moving and one thing that I have to do here, and, and this, this all ties together. So one of the things that I have to do when I move is that... Um, I have too much stuff. I have certain items that I'm trying to get rid of. I have a a couch I'm trying to get rid of. I have a table I'm trying to get rid of. And I have uh, a bed frame that I'm trying to get rid of before I move. And you're asking me, which of these three do I want? Uh, No, (laughs) that's not the game show. So the question is, the the question is, if, if you have to get rid of material that you own, like items or things like that, or if you have a product or a service or something that you want to do and you need to get it done fast... What is the one place on the internet where everybody goes to to get rid of their stuff? Craigslist. That's right. Craigslist. I didn't tell you about this, but that is true. That is everybody knows that Craigslist is the one place. So just like materialistic items, Craigslist is the place where materialistic items goes to die. This is also where the the uh, game show for the, the <laughs> show with no name is going to go to die tonight. So... As I was surfing around Craigslist, because I'm trying to to get some postings up for this couch and this table, and I'm really waiting until the very last minute to do this, so this is good for me, right? Giving myself a little over a week to get rid of these items. 
I noticed, and and I'm sure everybody's noticed this before, if you have not been on Craigslist before, you are missing out because there are some fantastic postings you said it. on Craigslist. Some people sell or give away some of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my entire life. And so I wanted to play a little bit of a game. Unfortunately, I don't have a prize for you. Um, you can have... This is a receipt that I got for buying a pair of shoes a couple days ago. So if you win, I'll mail you this mail receipt to, to you. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, that's the yeah, only thing I got on my desk. The shredder. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, I didn't pick very many because I didn't want it to take the, the entire episode. But I've picked out four um, actual Craigslist. These are current Craigslist okay, postings. I got it. These are real postings, and then I have four fake ones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a real one or a fake one, and I'm going to put them together, this and you're going to awesome. tell me which one is the real posting is that Good. is actually Good. available on Craigslist today, and which one is a fake one. Good. Okay? I like it. Are you ready to get started on I this? I am ready. Okay, so this is the this is the first potential. Again, I'm going to tell you two things, and then you're going to tell me which one is real and which one is fake. All right, so the first one here that I have here, this is, and I'm going to read it to you with all the spelling errors yes, and everything yes, too, I was because just there say, are. That's how I know which one is fake or not. But then exactly, again, you, like in through a whole bunch of exactly. Like I got so the off first one scotch free. So the first, <laughs> we're not going back to that game show. This is a different game show. So the first one here is a 10 minute Skype date, and this works perfectly because we're work, we're on Skype. This is right true now. right now. I can. This tell is you, a this 10, is 10 minute Skype date. Skype date is not uh, capitalized. Skype is not capitalized, and it's dash dash for the money uh, cost. This is for twenty dollars, and this is the description. I am a 25 year old Indian male looking to improve on my conversation skills with any willing participants. Then it says requirement. Actually, it doesn't say requirement. It just says W. Uh, I'm sorry, R E Q. I'm assuming that's for requirements. Requirements must be female. Uh, dash no sex changes. Must be over eighteen. <laughs> must send. <laughs> must send payment over prior to conversation. May communicate through message first. Skype username wow. Yozi. Y O S I underscore f the number four John J O N Yozi underscore for John. Okay, so, okay? so I got to compare this with another one, right? You got to compare this with this other one. Okay, <laughs> these are all so funny to me. Even the <laughs> the fake ones and the real ones are so you funny. You made up to the me. fake ones. I made okay, up the fake right. ones. I made up the fake ones. All right, so here is here is the uh, other one for consideration. This title is uh, six top ramen chicken flavor packets. <laughs> It says, <laughs> I recently finished a, <laughs> I can't even read this, it's so, uh, I recently finished a six pack of Top Ramen chicken flavored noodles that someone gave me. I don't eat meat, so I just made vegetarian stock and cooked the noodles in that. I didn't want to throw away the flavor packets because what if someone out there, someone <laughs> like you, really loves chicken flavor packets and has always wished for some extra that they didn't have to use to flavor their noodles? Today is your day, all in caps. <laughs> you can nab these chicken flavor packets to use them to flavor popcorn, different noodles, marinade, etc. Maybe you just want them for extra flavor on your top ramen chicken flavor noodles, or maybe you want to mix the chicken flavor with the beef flavor or shrimp flavor. Email me and I can put them on your front porch for you. Or if you seem really stoked, there's a possibility I could drop them off somewhere <laughs> convenient for you. If you want to leave me a list of things you're thinking about doing with them, that would be awesome, exclamation point. There is a picture with both of these. I can't show you the picture, unfortunately. But those are your two no, candidates. Sure. So you've got your 10-minute Skype date for $20 or free six top ramen chicken flavor packets. The, Which one do you think is the, real? The ramen noodles are fake, and the 20-minute Skype or $20 Skype date is with the Indian guy is the real one. ad. That's the real yes, one? Sir, okay. I'm double down, man. I'm so surprised that you go that direction based off of how much I laugh because you're wrong. <laughs> the 10 minute Skype date is completely fake. The six top ramen chicken flavor packets is a hundred percent real. So if you want, if you, and there's a great, it's so great because there's a picture of the six packets too. So if you want these. What if flavor is that? They're all chicken flavor? It's the it's the top ramen chicken flavor. Yeah, it's the chicken flavor packets. 
So orange, if you need right? six extra, yes, I think yeah, orange colored. <laughs> yep. If you uh, if you need some chicken flavor packets, here they are for you. They're ready for you. And he says if you're so excited, he could possibly drop them off in a convenient location for you. <laughs> This is like a like a bag drop for like ransom money or something like that. <laughs> All right, I need here you we to go. Uh, drop them off over here. Right, like you're gonna like the feds are watching some spot, and this guy drops off the chicken ramen packets and gets jumped by feds. <laughs> like the last game show that I I did, I will say if you get fifty percent of them, I'll send you the receipt. <laughs> Not that you really want my receipts. It's the only thing I, I could think of. But it was like of, one of these things, like where you score a certain score and then you like hit OK, and it's like. You your zombie apocalypse score is twenty six, meaning you could use a new chainsaw. <laughs> or ninety four. You're Jennifer. I was. I don't say know what Aniston, any of this means. Or, no, have you, haven't you ever taken the ones online? Like, what Pokemon character are you? Oh, or I know what, what you're talking about. What yeah. Taylor Swift song are you? Or so is this supposed to be? Star what Wars Craigslist you? shopper you are, or something like Thanks. that? Seven I, points for me. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, yeah, so exactly. Here, exactly. here's the first <laughs> here's the first one for consideration. The, <laughs> the titles of these are great too, which is so awesome. Uh uh funny both of these have to do with reptiles. Uh the first one is titled 11 reptiles. Hi, comma. I am going through a difficult break up break up break up, break up, break up <laughs> and impulsively adopted six different of reptiles over Craigslist. I have made a huge mistake. My roommates are furious. I have a one ball, I have one ball python, si- seven various geckos, a bearded dragon, and uh, two red slider turtles. They are all named Amanda. No, no rehoming fee. <laughs> <laughs> this is, so this is 100% free. If you want 11 reptiles, you can get 11 reptiles. Although it's interesting because the title is 11, but then it says I've adopted 16 different types of reptiles. Anyway. This other one is also so, wait, in wait, reference wait, wait, to wait, 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 wait. I want to know exactly what kind of he had a boa constrictor, a snapping red turtle. He had one ball, one ball python, seven various geckos, a bearded dragon, Does and two picks, red though? slider turtles. Picks? There's no. Does picks. he have what? Picks or it didn't happen? Okay. No, un- unfortunately, right, no picks on this one. All right, the other one. <laughs> this is turtle flute in parentheses free. This is a one of a kind flute. This oh this one of a kind flute was carved from a box turtle. This is the only one of its kind and was given to me by my uncle years ago. Only played a very few amount of times poorly, ready to pass on to someone who knows a thing or two about music. No charge. That's it, that's the ad. <laughs> no picks for that. That's you got no turtle pick one. flute on there? No picks for that one. One of a kind turtle flute? Dug no up picks by for Indiana that one. Jones circa 11th century or something like that. All right, so turtle, the turtle flute, or the guy with the ninety-six reptiles that is neighbor, neighbor. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll go with the turtle flute being the real one. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the turtle flute being the real one. No. Yeah, turtle flute's real, and the nineteen reptiles is fake. Although I probably got that one wrong. Okay, once again, you did get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the turtle flute completely fake i wrote that one myself Hi, the 11 comma. reptiles however if you <laughs> if no, you want 11 you. reptiles they're named amanda. named yes, they're all named amanda like that's what somebody would have done they're ready to go they are ready to like, go do, do reptiles all respond right. to names like if you go like hey amanda does the turtle then go like i don't oh, <laughs> that's me i don't think i don't think they respond i don't think they're like hey amanda and the snake just is kind of like where's food <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly all right with that in mind let's go ahead and continue on to the next one here the next one that i have uh again this is um your first one for consideration this actually fits well with me i said i had to get well i have to get rid of my bed frame i don't guess i don't have to get rid of my mattress necessarily uh this is free photo of a free mattress i have a photograph of a mattress that i'm going uh, giving away the image of the mattress was posted on Craigslist about a year and a half ago. I was originally printed on receipt paper at a job that I really disliked working at. This is an 11 by 14 print on archival 13 by 19 paper. I have made an edition of one. Pick up only. Please email if a you have any of questions. A mattress. <laughs> it's a picture have, of a free any, mattress. Of course, he doesn't have a pick, right? Because 
Really? No, there is a picture. Because then he's there's giving a, away There's free a digital picture. What he said he would be given away. It's a picture of the picture, though. So oh, it's not gotcha. like the digital oh, version of the picture. So, so it's a picture of the picture. I got it. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And then in uh, contrast, uh, need trick slash try cuckle. I think they're trying to say tricycle because they say it again in the actual ad. It says, I am in need of a trick. I think they're trying to say trike or tricycle to ride around all day Saturday in parentheses, February 20th and make James Derrick jealous. He recently bullied my three-year-old son and has this coming to him. I'm willing to pay up to $45 to hold on to it for you and will even offer my watch as collateral if you feel that's necessary. Willing to pick up and return same day. So the wa- the no the trike or the picture of the mattress. There's a trike or uh, a picture so with like a I'm mattress. I'm tempted to say the trike one because you're like, I don't know what this word means. And I'm like, why would he be writing things that he doesn't know what they mean? But I'm going to go with the picture of the mattress as the real one. That's the real one. As being the real one? This time you did get it right. The tricycle was completely fake. The picture of the mattress, however, if you'd like a picture of a mattress, it's 100% Do, so free are, for you had, at So, so far, of these three <laughs> Craigslist ads, were there any responses that you saw? I guess you don't, you don't see there. Right, that's right. You can't see you responses like on Craigslist. Thing. That's right. the other thing. There's not like a forum mm-hmm. thing where I'm, people are like, pick Exactly. Lols. King's yes. toe, bro. No, that would be King's funny toe. if you could see... I would love to see the responses, but yeah. All right, so this last one, there actually is a cost for these ones. I know for the most part, all the ones that I've shown so far or the ones I've done so far, even the fake ones, have been free. These two ones actually have a price tag on them, which I think is kind of one of the beauties about Craigslist because most of the things that are on there are for sale, but there are a ton of people who do things that are for free. So these last two actually have a cost to them. The first one for consideration Wolverine mask with saliva dash Hugh Jackman. It was one of those crazy days that I don't think could happen again in a million years. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you the price tag for this one. $1,025. It was one of those crazy days that I don't think could happen again in a million years. 2009, I was at Comic-Con and sat in the front row of the Wolverine Origins panel. And at one moment, Hugh Jackman let out a cough that actually sprayed his saliva on my Wolverine mask that I picked up from Walmart the day before. I have never washed it. And I hope to find someone who could appreciate fake. this work I'm going, of art that's as fake. much as I do. Keep going, keep going, though. Keep going. <laughs> this is fake. All right. So here's your other one. Floor lava protection. Do you love your family? Do you want to protect them? Then why have you not done anything about the fact that the floor is lava? You can't touch it or you'll what? die. That's all in caps. For the low cost of $25, you can spare your family from this terrible fate. We are offering a floor lava proof island to provide what? shelter and safety. It has been known to protect up to four people simultaneously, but may hold even more in a dire situation. That's only $6.25 per person to save them from the lava covering the floor. floor all in caps lava again. lava protection? Is this like when we played Lava As Monster a free bonus. at the park or what? I don't <laughs> understand. As a free bonus... We'll throw in four soft, comfortable, throwable, and almost importantly, lava-proof oh, so stepping true. stones, allowing the mobility to reach safe areas of the floor. This may provide your only chance of rescue, again, all in caps. So please, for the love of your family, especially your children, act now. In parentheses at the very bottom, it also functions as a couch. Is there, what was the price for this, for the lava protection? This one is so for $25. It, it just, like, real quick, they're selling lo- insurance that you're... Floor doesn't get ripped by lava, or what is this Minecraft? Or what is they're selling? No, 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 they're selling a couch. Oh, it you also doubles <laughs> it's as a couch because if your floor is on lava, I got it. They're calling gonna, the floor I'm gonna go lava with uh, the so I, I'm saying that the lava story or the lava ad is true, and here, here's here's why because okay, now the, the Wolverine mask. Maybe the true post, but the story behind it is fake. I can tell you that. Because Why if he's at, at a panel at Comic Con and he coughs, he is way too far away from the public to actually hurl saliva. Because you're up, <laughs> they're up on a stage, right? And not just up on a stage, but they're behind a table with mics in front of them. True. And so for him to cough, nope, it would have true. to shoot like. 24 <laughs> yards or whatever and it got on my wolverine mask but although i could see somebody like in the front row of the wolverine mask going yo 
it got on my Wolverine mask, but it didn't actually get on his Wolverine mask. Maybe yeah, see, he's just I think he's it. lying about that. So I, even if that one's true, he's lying about the story. So that one's fake. That's a fake one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are correct. That one was the fake one. Uh, Yay! <laughs> I had to find. I had to find one way to get some nerdy thing in there just to see if you would actually catch on it. Because I bet if I looked for something, uh, something by Hugh Jackman on for for Wolverine, Hugh I Jackman bet I'd find something on, on sleeve, something ridiculous, something like that. Like really something good. of that nature. Something of that 1025. nature. One thousand twenty-five. Lava protection. Thousand dollars and one thousand twenty-five. One thousand and twenty-five. Like yeah, number to to sell something for. But the the couch was selling for what? Twenty-five dollars. It must be a stinky couch, man. You know, it's funny. They actually have a picture. It's really? not that bad of a it? couch. It's Why really clever. Say, hey, you no, take I'm my couch. Buy. And I'll... Well, first off, I don't uh, live well, in Kansas was... City, so I don't exactly that, have the ability of getting this couch. That's what you should have done. You should have put but... cities for each of the ads. Although I don't, I don't know. If oh, I'm... you know what? I could have told you. I could have told you where the cities were for all of them because there was cities for all of them. And I thought about um, adding in as a bonus aspect. I was going to tell you where the ads were actually posted. But yeah, no. <laughs> but to, to recap, we did get fifty percent of them, so I will say that you passed two for two, two for four. Um, and uh, I'd be happy four. to send you a receipt of that my of my shoes. So you know, my, that that, you okay, <laughs> which I think uh, I don't even recall what I did. No, we threw those away. I don't even recall what we did with the tickets. I think we threw them away. Well, no, we needed to throw them away. Because I'm, al- I'm were, allergic were really to those. I couldn't have, there's no way I could have eaten them or taken them well, home. Well, also, even if you weren't allergic, they had been in my pantry for like almost three years. Yeah, so not, it would have been, it's, it's definitely sugar. good that you threw them. No, I think what I did was I, I took them and after I left, I- And gave them to someone less fortunate. No, your neighbor, like across the hallway there, I just gently set them down on his doorstep. <laughs> Oh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> Here's some Tic Tacs. Here's oh man, the the tooth Christmas elf fairy left you Tic Tacs. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this episode is winding down a little bit. Uh, if you guys would like to fund me for my move, <laughs> um, you can go. You can find my items on Craigslist. Buy my couch. I'm selling floor lava protection. <laughs> Which is funny because my couch is red too, which is the color of lava. Perfect. So actually, even better, it's not just floor lava protection. It is or lava protection. It's also camouflage. That's right, camouflage. So lava. If, if you need, <laughs> if you need to hide from your enemies while still staying protected above the lava, uh, it's a perfect location. So, B, do you have any final remarks uh, before we before we close this episode? No, I don't. All right. Well, perfect. Well, if you don't have anything else, then again, to our listeners, thanks so much for all the support. If you guys would like to hit us up, you can hit us up on Twitter. Um, please be sure to leave a review on iTunes as that information, you know, leaving a review, leaving a comment means a lot to us. So we do appreciate that. And uh, with that said, <laughs> with that said, thanks again for tuning in. Y'all have a great evening.